Hey folks, it's Chris Crazy House. You know, I always talk about black people out there finding content that they can read, but also that their children can read that showcases them in a positive light. And I want to talk about some of the comic books that I found either online or that I bought in person that you guys would very much appreciate. And I'm going to start off this little series of videos talking about a really cool comic called Kids to Kings. And this is a comic book written by Manuel Godoy and drawn by David Lennerman. And it is one of the most beautiful comics I've seen in a long time. And it follows the story of a young boy named Osar, whose life goal is to rule Kemet. And it shows him, him and his three siblings as they go to visit their cousins over in Kush. And there is a an overall... Uh, evil that's building towards uh, these kids but the first two stories the first story arc is about them going to meet with their cousin over in uh, Kush and having kind of a friendly competition and I think this is a great way to introduce the characters to the audience and also showing you what their powers are so I think the the writers and the artists did a very good uh, good thing by having almost kind of like a little short little tournament going on at the be beginning of the story to introduce you to the characters and show you what they can actually do. So, I would highly recommend it. I bought the first two issues at Onyx Con over back in August, and I really enjoyed both of them. The artwork is amazing, first and foremost, but the action and the story are also very well done. And if you just look at some of the images here, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And the one of the best fights I've seen in a while in a comic book is between... Asar and his cousin Bess, who apparently Bess won the fight before. Uh, they've had a their little competition before, and Asar lost, and was kind of reprimanded by his grandfather, who is the the current ruler of uh, Kemet. And you know, it, apparently his uh, Asar's father is more loving and just kind of says, "Do your best," but the his his grandfather is more. You need to crush. And beat your enemies. You can't be you. If you're going to be the heir, you can't be soft. So of course, Asar has this notion to want to go out there and, and win this fight, and he's willing to put it all on the line to win this fight against his his cousin Best. And it's it, like I said, the artwork is amazing, and apparently his grandfather and the uh, the cousin's father have some. I guess they have a past beef as well, where they've also competed against fighting each other. So. I would uh, tell you guys very much go pick these up. I know your kids will appreciate it, especially if you got young boys who are into things like anime or if they're fans of concepts like Dragon Ball Z. The combat is almost identical to just like Dragon Ball Z. If I would say a little bit better because at least these comics are in color. So they And they have characters that look like them, so these kids will appreciate it even more. Then they got boys and girls, and I think that's a great thing that they have it in there. And what the another cool thing I thought about the comic book is that the all the kid characters are different shades, so no one's really left out in the shade spectrum as far as black people go. They even have one kid who actually has vitiligo, whereas some of his skin has uh, turned kind of pale, and he has you know his other patches of skin are dark. And he talks about it, saying like how the people viewed him as cursed for having this, but his powers are manifested. He can control sand and also. Uh, I believe he can control what people. Is it he? Can he control what people see? He can try to kind of create illusions and stuff like that. But it's uh, uh, amazingly done, in my opinion. I think you guys can go pick it up. And apparently, these are the same creators who also created the, or the the people who run Black Sands Entertainment, which is a very cool. I remember seeing this a long time ago, where I saw that the game that they were working on and the character designs that they were creating for Black Sands. And they create a lot of character profiles for that. And then all of a sudden, like, this book drops. It's almost kind of like a companion piece, but these characters are a little bit different from what appears in Black Sands. I think it might actually be these kids as, as or people as kids or, you know, them growing up later on. So please go check it out. I know you guys will love it. And you'll love the art style. You can see it here. And you can also go subscribe to Black Sands Entertainment, their YouTube channel. Because it has a lot of cool content on there. And if you're an artist, you'll be inspired 
But also, if you're just a, a black person who loves this type of content, you'll also be inspired and want to go out there and purchase this type of content. So, I have to very much recommend Kids to Kings. You will like it, and you know I appreciate it very much. And I hope they do more comic books and more games based on these characters. I know I I've enjoyed it just in a little bit that I've read so far. So go check it out. And I will definitely be doing more of these to showcase more ideas and more content that you can guys you guys can go pick up, especially now that it's the, the so-called holiday season. This will be a great gift for the young black people in your family. Anyway, Chris Crazy House signing out. Peace.